good, YouTube? This your boy Jarrell here, holding it down for Jarrell Fitness. If you already know, check your watch. I look crazy right now, right? Oh, shit. Check your watch, because you already know it's time to grow, bro. Um, shout out to the T2G Nation. I know y'all out there watching. What's good with y'all? Anyway, man, um, right now I'm on my way to the gym to do a, um, a back and minor bicep workout. And um, I'm going to go ahead and throw it down for y'all, man. It's been a while so since I did one of these back workout videos, but um, I'm going to do it today. All right, I'll catch y'all at the gym. Let's get it started, baby. Yeah, what's good, T2G? What's going on, y'all? Check it out. We're going to go ahead and kick off this back and bicep workout. With some wide grip pull-ups um this is my first set right here i did about 10 reps um no additional weight you know i weigh about 169 right now so that's about the amount of weight that i'm pulling up right now um 10 reps real good exercise to build up the lats um i like to usually start my back workouts you know with with doing these because that's when i have the most amount of energy you know to actually pull my whole body up because you know a lot of times if you get to doing like a you know another different type of exercise you'll kind of pre-exhaust yourself but you won't really have that much energy to do the pull-ups that you need to do um this is my second set i actually did another 10 reps with no additional weight then i wanted to go ahead and add a little bit more weight so i went ahead and took a 25 pound plate and i got this dipping belt right here went ahead through the chain through that bitch and i'm gonna go ahead and do some new shit i ain't really never did this before so I wanted to see how many reps I could do. I think I squeezed in about six reps. So I guess that was pretty good, you know. I ain't up to that 40 pound, 45 pound plate yet, like, you know, like Matt Ogis and your boy Chris Jones. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'll be there one day. All right, then I went ahead and moved on to this lap pull down machine. And, um, for this first set, I'm going to go ahead and do 190 pounds for about 8 reps. Um, I'm doing pyramid sets, so my first set right here, I'm going to have the weight at a nice kind of heavy weight while I only squeezed out about 8 reps, which you guys see I'm doing right here. Make sure you squeeze, you know, pull, pull your, um, your elbows down, man. Pull the weight down with your elbows. Don't use your arms. Okay, then on this second set right here, I went ahead and decreased the weight down to 175 pounds. And I did about 10 reps. So as you can see, you know, I'm, um, I'm as I'm decreasing, decreasing the weight, I'm increasing the reps. So that's the whole point of these pyramids. You can do them either way, you know, vice versa, you know. Then right here for the third and final set, I went ahead and dropped the weight down to 160 pounds. And I did about, I think I did about 12 to 13 reps on this last um, set right here. I think I actually did an extra rep. I was only supposed to do 12, but I think I lost count or some shit like that. <laughs> so, that's what it is. Alright, then I moved on to the um, to machine row. I use this nice hand grip right here. Um, it has like three different hand grips. You know, you can use the underhand grip, the hands facing grip, or you can use this grip that I'm using right here. That first set right there, I did 115 pounds for about 8 reps. Then I went ahead and dropped the weight down to 100 pounds. And I think I squeezed out about 10 reps for this set right here. Once again, I'm doing pyramid sets. Alright, then I went ahead and dropped the weight down to 85 pounds. I want to just go ahead and just wrap it out so I'm gonna do 12 reps for this last set right here this is real great man I love doing pyramid sets man it, it comes in real handy I feel like I get a real good workout when I'm doing pyramid sets I used to do them back in the day but um I've actually just recently started incorporating this into my workout so it works very very well for building muscle All right, then I went ahead and moved on to the isolateral high row machine. This is a real good uh, exercise right here. I like this machine. Um, right here on this set, I did about 10 reps. It's about 70 pounds worth of plates on each side. So this is a great exercise right here for like working the lats, working the middle back. Um, um, 
then on this second set right here I went ahead and um, dropped the weight down about 55 pounds and I believe I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze out about 12 reps um, I like this machine but the, the hand positioning on this one is a little different from the one that, that I usually use this is actually a different LA Fitness um, location that I'm at right here and they don't have the machine that I usually use because with the one that I I use on a regular I actually am able to use a underhand grip to fill it more on the lats so you know but I just have to make an exception for this time um, then I went ahead and actually up the weight so I kind of fucked up my pyramid thing because I you know I was kind of feeling a little beastie so I went ahead and put about 80 pounds on each side for this last set right here and I actually went ahead and squeezed out about 10 reps great exercise man Just squeeze your back together you know make sure you're breathing correctly and everything don't be holding your breath and shit you don't want to get no fucking high or hernia <laughs> then I moved on and used this machine right here this is called the back extension machine I don't know if your gym has one but if they do have one go ahead and try it out this works your lower back real well it's kind of similar to like doing like um deadlifts I would say that's the that's the most feeling I get out of it this kind of reminds me of deadlifts because it works your lower back this is about 145 pounds on this set I did about 11 reps Then on the second set right here, um, I upped the weight to about 160 pounds, and I think I did about eight reps. I don't really see too many guys using this machine on YouTube, so maybe there's something new. You know, everybody could check out. You know. All right. Then on this last third and final set. Um, I went ahead and took the weight all the way up to 190 pounds and I believe I did about 10 reps final set there we go man my back was burning like a motherfucker <laughs> Alright, then I went ahead, we're going to move on to the rear delts. So I went ahead and did my usual um, rear delt flies, um, 15 pound dumbbells. I did about two sets of this for 12 reps. You know, as you guys already know, um, I work my rear delts on back day as opposed to, sh to, to my um, pushing day. Alright, then I'm going to go ahead and do one quick warm up set. Uh, of shoulder shrugs um, with 45 pound plates these 45 pound plates have those little hand grips in them so you can hold them kind of like dumbbells and I do about 20 reps just to warm up and then I'll walk on over for my next set to like the um, shoulder shrug um, machine right here um, that's about 65 pounds of weight on each side and I do that for about 20 reps and um, that's it for the traps then this is a real good exercise it's called behind the neck cable curls I don't know if you guys heard of them but I saw a guy's channel named Lee Hayward and I saw him doing these and you know it, it works your brachialis muscle which is a, a muscle that's the size of like a golf ball that lies under your biceps you know this muscle also um, pushes the, the bicep upward and gives it that peak look so you could do hammer curls also to you know to work that muscle but yeah go ahead and try to exercise out and um, this kind of goes hand in hand with this exercise too because this kind of works the, um, the brachialis also along with your biceps this is the bicep curl machine um, lately I've been doing a lot of um, bicep exercises where my elbows are elevated it seems like it gives a real good you know um, stimulation to my biceps you know and um, I feel like I've been getting a better peak on my bicep just doing exercises like this where your elbows are elevated to give you you know a better look when you do that double bicep pose and um I'm doing about three sets of this I believe the first set I did about um 60 pounds on each arm for about six reps and then the second set um I did about eight reps with about 50 pounds so I'm once again I'm doing pyramids I'm dropping the weight and increasing the um the reps okay 
and then um for the final set I just went ahead and dropped the weight all the way down to 35 pounds and did about 10 reps Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Um, coming to the end of the video now, so I hope you guys like the video. Go ahead and try it out. You know, adjust it accordingly. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll holla.